Is it cool if I get a sweatshirt on before we get started? Because it is freezing in here, all right? It's California freezing. It's not like actual cold, cold. It's just, it's cold for a Californian like me. So hey guys, what's going on? Shane at Shane Hubbard Fit, where we teach you how to lose weight without counting calories or doing exercise you hate. Today, we're gonna to be talking about a caloric deficit and how to figure out how to have one so that you can actually lose body fat and why it's important. You wanna know? I wanna know. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So I'm gonna use the example of money to make this super crystal clear. I want you to pretend for a moment that you make $3,000 every single month, all right? Every single month, you make $3,000. You can pay all your bills with that. It's all nice and dandy, all right? Now I want you to imagine that you went out and bought a taco stand, right? What better way to spend your money than to buy a taco stand, put it in your backyard, you can have tacos whenever you want. Taco light, baby. I love tacos, I love tacos, I eat tacos all the time. Give me tacos, plenty tacos, only thing that's on my mind. Now, because you bought the taco stand, you're a little over what you usually have to pay for bills every month, all right? So, you make $3,000, but you owe $3,200 this month because you bought that taco stand. All right, so that means you're $200 in the hole. You got $200 you still have to owe because obviously you didn't pay it all with what you made that month. So how are you gonna make up that $200? Let's say that you have a savings account and it has $10,000 in it, right? You're sitting pretty, you got $10,000 in the bank, you can use it whenever you need to. Hey fellas, look what I found in my pocket. Look, a year's salary right here. So you take $200 out of that savings account and you put it in your checking to cover the additional $200 you have to pay this month in terms of bills, all right? So now you've got a zero balance in your checking account. Not the greatest thing, but at least you don't owe money. Show me the money. Whole calorie deficit works in a very similar way. Let's pretend that you eat 3,000 calories a day, but you burn 3,200 calories a day. So you have a calorie deficit. There's a difference between the calories you eat and the calories that you burn. So when you have more energy going out, so you burn more calories than you consume, that's what's called a calorie deficit, okay? Now, just like the savings account with the money example, when your body is burning more calories than it consumes through food, it uses stored body fat or your savings account to cover the rest of that calorie deficit so that you, you technically end up at net zero, but you're pulling from a savings or you're pulling from your body fat and that's how you burn body fat. So that's why a calorie deficit is so important. You cannot lose body fat if there's no reason for your body to use body fat. So that's the definition of a calorie deficit. And I hope that that money example kind of helped you understand that a little bit better. In fact, if it did, please let me know in the comments section down below because it would really help me out. Once you establish a calorie deficit, how do you actually go about being in one? All right, we're gonna actually talk about that in another video because uh, I don't want this video to be too long and I want you to be able to get that definition straight. All right, guys, thanks for watching today's video. I will see you in a future video. I love tacos, I love tacos, I eat tacos all the time. Give me tacos, plenty tacos, only thing that's on my mind. Give me queso, extra cheese, salsa verde, what I need. A tortilla, ground beef, that's the perfect recipe. Hold up, hey, I'm so hungry, yeah, it will fill my tummy up.